Hi, I'm Andrew Martin. I am the group publisher at Disruptive Tech Asia, and I'm really pleased to be here today with Dana and Edwin from Metro Data, and we're going to be discussing how their partnership with AWS is helping them to drive cloud initiatives in Indonesia. Um, Edwin, if I could come to you first, I'd be really interested to know, from your perspective and your experience, how are you finding that cloud computing is affecting business and organizations and, in fact, the economy in Indonesia? I think, uh, thank you. Thank you for the question. So, definitely, cloud computing in Indonesia brings new possibilities for business and organizations in Indonesia to get uh, the, their digitalization up and running. And on the same time, it does speed up the execution. Basically, with cloud, building new IT services for customer and internal employee can be done in a much faster, which is this cannot be achieved with traditional on-premise IT approach. And uh, we believe also with cloud and AWS cloud in particular, customers also have access to the widest and most complete ready-to-use services marketplace. So we can see services such as backup as a service, learning management system, ticketing system, big data and analytics, and even up to IoT services. This is just some of the samples that people can uh, easily use, yeah, the, 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 the services in AWS. Basically, the services can be much, much more wider than that. And I think basically that, that describes the, the impact yeah, of cloud computing in Indonesia. Yeah, Edwin, that's actually really interesting and um, probably no surprise. In fact, we find that a lot, not just in Indonesia, but sort of all over the world where cloud computing is starting to be adopted, that one of the really big benefits that companies see is the fact that new initiatives, new digital implementations can be spun up much, much faster. So it's great to hear that you're finding the same thing. Um, if I could move now on to you, Dana, I just wanted to know, with the advent of cloud, do you see that that's making on-prem IT obsolete? Okay, so basically it doesn't work like that. Everything will be based on your type and, and complexity of application and workload as a general. A pure 100% public cloud approach is very much doable, but for enterprise customers, with hundreds or more of applications, hybrid cloud is actually more common. And both Metrodata and AWS totally believe that it is the right approach. It's about how we ensure which application goes to which environment. Is it to on-premise or is it to the AWS cloud? Which one is the best? Also, how we can ensure the secure and reliable connection between these two. So even with two silos environment, IT will be able to leverage the most potential value of both their on-premise and AWS cloud environments simultaneously. Yeah, Dana, uh, completely agree. I think it's going to be a long time before we see everyone move wholesale 100% into public cloud. Probably never, as you say, because there are good reasons for hybrid as well. Um, moving the conversation on again, I'd like to bring it back to you, Edwin, and um, wanted to talk to you a little bit about whether uh, you feel that Indonesia and, and organizations in Indonesia have the right set of skills and people with skills for cloud computing. And, and if you don't feel that they do, what can, what can companies do to close that skills gap? Okay, thank you. So basically we, we seen that the cloud adoption is going a very, at a very tremendous rate. And however, on the same time, talent is also quite limited at the market. So basically our view, we as a partner, we are able to support you not only from day zero, but also the day one, which is the implementation. And if it's required, we also being able to support the day two, which is running the operation. So this cloud adoption basically is a journey. And as we discussed, there are a lot of things that can bring value to your business. We see this as a continuous engagement model with our customer. Even we as a partner also acknowledge there are a lot of things that we need to learn and adopt ourselves. With confidence, we will be uh, your customer partner through this cloud journey process. Yeah, I think the um, continuous engagement model makes a lot of sense. Maybe for, if, if only for the reason that things are changing, the technology has changed so quickly 
in all sorts of public cloud that it's very difficult for a non-specialist company to keep track with those changes. So that really does make a lot of sense to me. Um, Moving on from that question, but still related, I'll bring it back to you, um, Dana, and, and ask you this, is, is given that you know, cloud is meant to be self-service, flexible and easy, why is it that it makes sense for organizations and companies to look to a cloud service provider like Metro Data rather than trying to do it for themselves? Okay, I think some of it are already answered by Pa Edwin, but let me add a few things. The first one, in terms of your pure AWS billing, there will be no uplift on this. It will be the exact value of what it is gonna cost you if you're directly doing business with AWS, let's say through your corporate credit card. On top of that, if we talk day zero, we will be the one who defines your business needs into a proper best practice solutions through our experience and close engagement with AWS subject matter expert. And Metrodata as a partner also have subject matter expert also ranging from DevOps, databases, ERP, big data, IoT, and so many more. In short, whatever your business need, we can collaborate internally and combining resources who are AWS experts and workload experts. On day one, we will for sure adopt best possible methodology and best practices to ensure minimum risk, optimum timeline, and best possible architecture result. On day two, we have cloud managed service offerings to ensure customer got the best value of their AWS cloud, also optimize customer investment or billing. And lastly, we will always keep our door open to any kind of discussion that our customer needs. Yeah, thank you for that, Edwin. I think you've really encapsulated just why that center of excellence means so much to your potential clients. Um, it's been a really interesting session. I've really enjoyed speaking to you both. I hope that for everyone watching, that's been really helpful in understanding just how this partnership between a massive cloud provider and a really important uh, cloud service provider, Metro Data in Indonesia, can really help you with your cloud journey. If you want to find out more, we have lots more information on Disruptive Tech Asia. We look forward to you seeing you there and hope that you've enjoyed the time that we spent together today. Thanks again.